reading books aloud for kids. When reading books aloud for kids, it is good to know certain tricks in advance. In this video, I'll give you plenty of powerful tips for children from 0 to 12 and in the end, a list of questions to ask your multilingual kids before, during and after reading books. Coming up next. Hello everyone, welcome to Multilingual Family, a vlog for cosmopolitan people like you that helps you raise your multilingual children successfully. On this channel I share with you know-how and useful material, so if you're new here consider subscribing to my mailing list. Check the link below for more free material. I can't stress enough the importance of reading when it comes to language development and high academic performance. As a teacher, I see every day the tremendous positive effects that reading regularly has on multilingual children. That is why if you want to support your kids in any way, the best tip I have for you is to focus on reading to them and motivating them to read eventually on their own. Here come some reading tips for babies and toddlers. For them, it is important to choose colorful books with clear big pictures, numbers and common shapes. Something like this, for instance. Mm -hmm. There are so many books out there to choose from, but it can get pretty expensive to buy so many books, mostly if you speak several languages at home. The good news for multilingual families is that for this age you don't need to have a whole library of books in each language. You can use the same books to expose your child to different languages, no matter if you use the minority language at home or poll method or you are starting to use the one situation one language method. I'll link videos below about those methods. Using the same books is possible because the books for these ages are still very simple, allowing you to tell what is happening in your own language using your own words. It is also not necessary that you read every time exactly what is on the pages. You can just do the, some storytelling and leave some parts out or add some phrases if needed. You can even make up a whole new story using the images that the book offers. Actually, young kids like it very much when you speak freely and naturally. By not reading word for word, you are more flexible to adapt the content to your baby's or your toddler's level and interests. You can also keep the reading experience interesting by asking questions and commenting on what you see. Here are some examples. I love to look at this book with my toddler. My older girl is already too old for this, but for him this is a blast. Sometimes we just count. So we're like one, two, three, and then like, look, there's a bus. How many kids are there? And then we count the kids and here we can count, count the, the, the bears. And sometimes I ask, can you see three cats? Where are they? And then like, let's find them and like that. Some other times we focus on the colors and we just say from page to page what colors we see. This is yellow, green, blue. I obviously do this in my language in Spanish and you can do it in yours too. So sometimes you can also be creative. For instance here I very I very much like to talk about the what, what I see the shapes like here are dots, lines, flowers, the patterns and so on. Sometimes I just say look there is a duck that is asleep can you find it and then the child finds it and these books where they can flip something or something is hiding are really really interesting for small kids because they love that something hides behind something. So this this is the way I use this book and my husband by the way uses this in Danish and uh, my nanny I'll, I'll give her all of these books no matter if they are in Spanish or not because um, she can use it for German and other languages. There are also books like this one where there is actually a story there are storybooks and as you see uh, there's very little text up there 
and these are also very suited to use in different languages. My mother, for instance, she she didn't read these books to my kids, but she told the story in Spanish and my and kids used to love it. So that you can do because again, the text is very simple. I have here all the books that I want to show you that I really adore. This one is from Usborn, Pequeñines Curiosos Veo Veo. And don't worry, I'll link all of these books below because these have been translated to Spanish, but I know the original ones come from England and I'm sure they have it in several languages. So this book is amazing because it emphasizes exactly what I've been saying until now. Um, as you see, it's almost broken because my kids love it so much. And when you open it, you see something happening. It's not a story, but it has some pictures that allow you to start a discussion, to start a conversation about something. So the interesting thing is that in between the pictures, you can see some questions. So this book helps parents ask questions using books. So sometimes if you don't know what to ask, you can just read it. Here it says, for instance, ves un gato rosa? Can you see a um, pink cat? And the child has to, has to find it. And uh, I don't use always this question. Sometimes I just uh, invent and my own questions. I make up my own questions and I ask them. But these questions are very good for to, to get an idea of what you could ask or what you could talk about. So this book is so amazing that when my mother-in-law saw this book, she definitely wanted one in Danish. So we got one similar one in Danish as well. Was it necessary? Well, it's a nice things to have, but actually I can use the Spanish version for Danish as well. Those were my tips for reading to babies and toddlers. Now, let me know in the comment section if you have other books that you find amazing for babies and toddlers. Now, if you have older kids that are four years old or older, you still need to read to them regularly and motivate them to read on their own by being a good role model and offering the children plenty of opportunities to read interesting books on their level. Here are some tips about reading books aloud for kids between four and 12. First of all, talk about the book before reading to them. Look at the cover, read the title and read the backside. Ask questions like, what do you think this book is about? Who is the author? What do you know about this topic already? These kind of questions will awaken their interest and make them more engaged with the content. While reading the book, it is helpful to build up anticipation and hypothesize about what is going to happen next. It's also useful to build in noises. For example, if somebody knocks on the door, you can do something like that. If your children are sitting in front of you, use your facial expressions <gasps> like that to emphasize a point. And also read faster or slower or louder or whisper to keep the listeners hooked. This week's freebie is a list of questions that you can ask your multilingual children before, while and after reading a book. The questions are in English, but I will share with you a doc file so that you can adapt it to your languages before printing them out. If you are interested, click on the link in the description below and I'll mail it to you immediately. If you have signed up already, just check your inbox. Check out also these videos that will give you more ideas and know-how on how to raise multilingual children successfully. Thanks so much for watching this video called Reading Books Aloud for Kids. Please give me a like uh, to support this channel and subscribe to stay posted. This was Multilingual Family. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.